Welcome, my name is Rachel, the first time I see my channel, user review, cartoon series, anime series, so something computer random, and today we talk about the Astro Chronicles, I guess, I can't say the name right, I'm so sorry, but this anime is not technically an anime, it's more like a western cartoon. The reason why it says more cartoonish is because how the animation, how it looks. I mean, far away it looks anime, but you get closer up, it feels more like Western animation from like the 90s, that sort of kind of strong uh, appearance or so movement. It feels more traditional American Western how do animation for more realistic proportions, now words. In Japanese, it's more kind of going more looser, a little bit more. Uh, extreme or more detail in no offense this does have detail but it's lean more to western sort of style of animation that's something you really do notice but besides that the story itself is pretty good when you follow a character called jack who one day get out of school panicking feeling something is completely wrong he doesn't understand why he just felt something is extremely wrong so he ran straight in the house when he get there he realized both his parents was killed by this strange man who has magical abilities who now attempted to kill him. Jack now panicking, freaking out. The other people reappear and save them. And they're trying to explain to Jack, yeah, the reason why your parents are killed or this crazy 15 year old boy who have magic powers attempted to kill you is because you have magic. Somehow you sort of activate your own magic, now it's hunting you down because this where we live or what magic people come from from are basically run away from their own universe for one simple reason is because we have a, like an overlord went crazy and now trying to take trying to take over everyone and make sure whoever escapes to get eliminated so they don't join the resistance to stop him so yeah basically jack is sort of stuck in the middle of this war because he has doesn't doesn't have a choice because he is the only one left his family is killed he doesn't have a house so he had to stay with the resistant people to figure out how to defend himself and survive but i love it is how jack really denies this at first because it's kind of hard to swallow because the first episode they dump a lot of information on you dump like yeah i'm sort of confused and jack too he really is trying not to believe this but he doesn't have a choice this is now reality for him he now have to learn how to use magic and sort of avenge his parents' death. There is one thing wrong with this show is that they don't really evolve the characters. They never really develop that much because this show is set up in a way that they is more focused about the situation, not the development. I mean, you do have development in the end of the five episodes, and yes, that's just five episodes, but they make it work. They're trying to explain so much about your lore, the situation, everything. Everything is sort of jammed into, into the series, but done very well pacing. It's very respectful and understand Jack's situation. He, how he had to deal with this. You have the other characters like Veronica who is similar situation but a little different because Veronica has one grandmother who's still alive and she lived with and she had to figure out to continue on uh, fighting or just give it up and just stay with the grandma and pretend this never happened. And you see her sort of struggle. I mean, that's why I love it. it. They just put you in the shoes of the character. They don't explain their personality. You just feel the situation and done super well yeah kind of impressed that's very well made usually shows attempted to do this kind of fall in the faces because they're sort of rushing it and this series only have five episodes they took their time yeah i'm impressed you also have you have shell the sort of the magician who helps the kids to train them you also have Asan, the, the prince who trying to regain his own country. But you see that they're sort of, I like to say bland, but still very interesting because you really don't know their personality exactly. They'd be always panicking, figuring out what to do next. But once more, you understand their position, you understand the situation. That That's why you don't need to develop that much, but you do develop their sort of their relation with the kids and the scenario they're putting them to make them figure out how to get out of. 
And that is still very a plot. That's that's still very interesting. You also have the villains. Now, Kirtaj is one of those villains I have to describe. He has sort of like a slasher kind of feel. It's a guy that's chasing down and kills you. He just walks and he knows his guy's menacing. How he talks so menacing. And on top of all this, this kid is a 15 year old psychopath, but he doesn't over exaggerate. He doesn't do all emo or I'm very cool or anything. They just let him do his job. He's, he's basically like an average Joe who is very dangerous, but at the same time, he has his own plan because he's not the main villain. He's just a, oh, I hire you to do this job. Just listen to me. But he won't because he's a guy who probably wait for you, turn your back, and stab you and take over. And that's way the best way to describe Kirtash because he is that type of villain. But he's interesting, not over exaggerated or anything. He's a little crazy, but at the end, he made him fascinating. The only thing yet, he's never explained his backstory, but I don't think you need to because how well uh, executed this character really is. Now, anything bad about this series? Well, I have to admit, it's sort of how the animation Sometimes feels sort of odd, like they chip it now, like little moments. I think the best moment is the arm thing. They pop up to show what the character has with when the character you see him or her looking on the hand. It feels sort of odd. You have a little odd moments. Like feel they didn't need to focus on that. Just do it quickly, just for a few seconds, and that that does kind of shake, uh, kind of break the illusion of the storytelling. But that's just me because I focus up too much animation sometimes. But when one you have little odd moments but besides this this series is pretty interesting even the character are kind of flat but that's the whole point is you know you don't get to know them you understand the situation and that is well executing completely especially the very end of the series because in the end of the series everything goes wrong it's a lot of bloody everybody dies and things they feel be cliche they reverse it or do something completely unexpected and change everything and that's why this show is kind of strong and see it's interesting of course it be warned the first kind of episodes you may be get a little frustrated if you're not used to this sort of storytelling but besides this this series is wonderful it was great it's enjoyable i reckon Mandate at least watch the first two episodes. Maybe you enjoy, maybe not. I don't know you, so I'd still recommend just give it a try. I got nothing else to say. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.